let's take a look at this problem and, and check back in with the strategies that, that we use to, to solve these problems. First thing we want to do is identify what is given. And they say we've got 3.7 moles of a gas. That's what is given to us. And then we want to figure out what we need to find. And we want to find how many liters we end up with. So once we know what's given, what we need to find, let's set the problem up so we can cancel out the units. We'll use a conversion factor to do that. So let's set it up. We have 3.7 moles. Let's set it up like this. And I want to find liters as my final unit. So if I have moles up here, I'd better have moles on the bottom. Those will cancel out. And since I want liters here, I know that I can have liters on the top. Well, the conversion factor we're going to use is that one mole of any gas, so here they just say a general gas, but any gas occupies 22.4 liters. That's a conversion factor you need to remember. One mole of a gas is um, 22.4 liters. Let's cancel our units out. Our moles are going to go away. And we've got liters here, and that's what we want to end up with. So we'll multiply 3.7 times 22.4 liters. And there's our liters. And if you multiply 3.7 times 22.4, you get 88.88 .88 liters. That's your final answer. The, the last step, we've just solved the problem, is to check and see if our answer makes sense. Here, we know that one mole is about 20 liters. So 3.7 say about four. So if we have four moles, that should be about four times 20, right around 80. And that seems to work out pretty well. We're close enough that we can be confident in our, in our answer. So the key to solving these is to know that one mole of any gas is 22.4 liters. That way you can cross out moles and end up with liters.